Hello everybody, uh, Dr. Dennis Mariano here. Uh, welcome to our Transformational Healing Seminar and tonight's topic is near and dear to my heart because we love, we love working with people who perform, uh, athletes or people that love to work out and uh, our goal tonight is to basically get people to make sure that you're able to work out and enjoy it without having to worry about being injured. And that's really the topic for this evening. But before we talk about topics and um, information, our job is not really to give you more information, because think about it, do you really need more information? I mean, you stay on Google, yeah. you'll be there forever. You know, you'll never leave your computer. So we don't need more information. Information is data that potentially could help you, but guess what, you have to filter those out through the lens of values and principles. And my goal for you this evening is to share with you principles of how the body works, how it gets injured, how do you then recover from it, and how do you not give yourself the same problem again and again so you don't have to continue to live in that state. So the principles we're going to be sharing to you, with you this evening is to help you, and that's the reason why we have these seminars here, and that's why we also uh, produce it online, is to help people uh, reach out to people so that this way we can give you information. You know. Uh, all day long people want something from you, right? They want something new from your job, the kids want something from you, the spouse wants something from you, everybody wants something from you. So our goal here in our practice, since we, the adjustments don't take a long time, is to be able to give back to you by giving you the opportunity to really value, to, to give you value with regard to how the body works in, the, in order for you to be able to experience, uh, have a good experience with regard to your care here and also why you have those experiences. Tonight's uh, topic is basically about, um, before we get started with that, by the way, we need to always discover, okay, hold on, it's working, hold on, what happened, hold on. All right, so topic tonight, peak performance and injury prevention using functional movement, taping, and cold laser. You're interested? Yes. You're a, you're, you're, yeah, you're a performer. So we're going to talk about that this evening. Um, the person I can thank for us to do with this, I'll talk about in a minute, but our mission in our practice is to provide the best technology in holistic, in holistic health and life care, right? It's just not about really performance it's about your life if you have a healed body a strong body but you don't have a good relationship with life then it's really not worth much so our goal is to get you to be balanced as much as possible so you can have a good life and how do we do this we inspire people to li um, live thriving lives so they can be become a beacon of hope for others if we can instead of always wanting something from someone like everybody wants from us what about if we focus on what we can give to others as opposed to what we can get? Imagine how our world would be different if our focus is to give as opposed to just receiving. And that's really our purpose for doing these seminars. So I need to thank Dr. Spencer. Dr. Spencer was the Tour de France chiropractor for many, many years, and he was really, really close to the, the writers there. And I was very fortunate early on in 2008 to go to his seminar after we retired from the tour, and he taught the chiropractic profession the technology that used to be proprietary, that they used to hide under a tent to take care of these, that actually allowed these people to perform at the peak level, either first or second place for seven years in a row. That's unheard of, right? So what he did then is he taught the information to us, and we basically ran with it. And guess what? What we do now is technology he uh, gave to us, we use for every single person practice member that comes into our practice uh, and I'll explain to you why that is so a couple of questions you know how we get injured when we get when we exercise you know how do we get injured when we exercise perform or compete right and also how come some people don't get better even if they rehab do you ever hear some of those people we talked about that during your adjustment right. some of these people in, in like the NFL or the NHL all these uh, sports and they keep rehabbing and they keep getting injured. We're gonna discuss this evening the mechanism behind that and how you can actually mitigate that and get your body to heal faster. 
And that's really the next topic is how can you heal and recover faster so you're not on the sidelines. Most importantly is what? Once you recover, what do you want us to do? You want to stay injury free? Stay that way, stay, stay that way, right. Yeah. And that's such a challenge because if you don't understand those principles, then you know that, that's what people do. You end up being on the sidelines rather than, uh, we've, we've had um, a lot of kids here that we've taken care of, teenagers, um, girls that are in um, um, gymnastics and also in um, cheerleading. And many of them have had injuries. This one girl, she had injuries to her ankle for four years and it just kept getting injured and injured and nobody could ever you know, take care of it. They just said brace it or stay off of it. And with the kind of care that we provided, you know, she went for competition and she did well. So along with the team that she had. So we're gonna talk about that this evening and how to do that. Here's a, here's a principle. When the body incurs an injury, so it endeavors to protect itself and it tends to stay that way until you wake it up using the laser. You have to reset it. You, and that's what's called myotomal inhibition. We'll talk about that in a more detail. So the most important thing is that we have to remember is that your nervous system runs everything in your body, right? Because this is your brain up here, the spinal cord, and not only do these um, nerves control muscles, but they also control all your organs, and that's really an important factor. It's the master control system. If you look at Grace Anatomy, look at this, look at the definition, can you see that? So the brain and nerve system coordinate the function of what? Some? All, all yeah. tissues, organs, and systems Everything. in the body, right? And here's the key. Why? Who cares? Adaptation. You are your nervous system. Without your nervous system, there's no adaptation, right? Think about, like, if you have a cadaver here, right? That somebody just died, like, instantaneously. That body is no longer adaptive, right? If you give it organic food, clean water, is it going to matter? No. It can't use it. So the whole key of the nervous system is adaptation. Without a functioning nervous system, your adaptive, adaptive capacity begins to diminish. And you struggle. Struggle unnecessarily. So here's what a normal vertebra looks like. There should be uh, disc spaces in between, and you should have nerves exiting. But when you have a subluxation or a spinal misalignment, guess what happens? It compresses that nerve, not to that extent necessarily, that's an exaggeration. Even it could be millimeters and it diminishes the function then of that nerve because if you have communication between the cells, organs, and tissues, the brain and cell and energy, it will be you'll have 100% what? Functioning. Right, it's functioning. It's just it's a it's a safety pin cycle we call it in chiropractic. If the safety pin is closed, then you have proper communication. Dr. Chang Ha Su in University of Colorado, this was probably over 40 years ago now. He did a study that he put pressure on the nerve, right, and see how much pressure it would take to diminish the function. If you can, I mean, you have coffee in your hand there, but if you go like this, and you put your pinky on top of that, see how minima, minimal that pressure is? Right. That's about 40 millimeters of mercury. It's the weight of a dime on your hand, right? If this was a nerve, and you put the nerve pressure on that within one to two minutes, you will decrease the function of that nerve by 60%. How are you going to know? How are you going to know? Right? So in our society, if you feel nothing, you do what? Do nothing. Nothing, exactly. <laughs> so in the meantime, though, you have diminished function, the body's breaking down, and then you wonder why as you get older, you can't recover anymore. Because the nervous system, that's what we did with you today. When we did the um, uh, cranial upregulations, right? Actually, we got all the cranial nerves working again. You didn't even know you had anything going on because you feel fine. Right. So, But if you upregulate the system, the traditional model, the, the challenge in the traditional model, and I grew up in medicine, my mom's a doctor, my aunts and uncles are all doctors and nurses. It's not a bad thing, but the, the, the challenge with it, it's really not healthcare, right? It's crisis care. If you look at the definition of medicine, it's the diagnosis and treatment of disease. Disease is an end stage situation going on. So our goal is not to make you not be sick, we wanna make you be healthy. See the difference? And that's really what we're looking for because if you have subluxations in your nervous system, it's impossible for the body to heal because you can't even feel it, right? So Dr. Henry Winsor, this gentleman, actually worked in the University of Pennsylvania. He used to live in Haverford. 
the only reason I knew that, I had a patient here who was a buddy of his, who was 80 years old oh, wow. at that time. Oh, yes, I knew Henry. He used to be in Hoverford. We used to hang out together. You know, I was like, okay. So here's what he found. He was a pathologist. What do pathologists do? What do they study? Disease. Disease, Illness. right? Illness. Yeah. So what he found, he watched this, right? He took people that have already died and traced, looked at their spines, right? Look at the organs. They look at the organs, whatever they died from, let's say cancer, heart disease, stroke, whatever. He would look at the organ, trace the nerve from that organ back to the spine and say, is there a relationship between nerve function, spinal function, and the organs? Look at this, it's almost 120, it's almost 100%, but here's what they found. Anybody that died from that issue, that part, that nerve supply to that area from the spine had either a small curve, which is acute, or the amount of uh, arthritis. What's the equation? You damage the spine, you damage the nerve system, you damage your health. But the problem is only 22% of your nervous system is sensory, right? Some, right. Most of it is actually autonomic organ function and immune function as well, and also motor. So it's divided into that. So most people feel, isn't that true, that if you pinch a nerve, you're gonna feel it right away? Right. And you don't. It's very forgiving. It's very forgiving the nervous system. You know, as a consequence of that. So when you have these subluxations, we really believe clinically that the subluxation is just as dangerous as diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. What do they have in common? What do all they have in common? Yeah, diabetes, cancer, heart disease, they usually have no symptoms, high blood pressure, oh, yeah. right? Until it's too late. You can have 20% kidney function left before you can even know there's anything wrong. So again, the idea that we're gonna do something after it's broken, I mean, trying to break a, break, you try to fix a broken adult compared to trying to grow a healthy child, is a totally different ball game, right? So that's really what happens when you have these subluxations. Um, so ideally, you should have optimal health and function, but when you have these subluxations, this is your birthright right there, right? What happens? causes issues. Yeah, the yeah. nerve system becomes interfered with, the messages don't get through, then what happens? You start to feel the pains. Right, the body mal <laughs> actually not yet, not yet. The body's oh, just not yet. functioning yeah. yet, right? See, we go right through that, that's our conditioning. It's not your fault, we were conditioned that way. Repeat after me, pain equals bad, right? And if no pain means healthy. And then what? You lose your health, and look, then, how far down is that? And our down. thinking is that if you feel well, you are healthy, right? It's A plus B, that's it. Right. It's not. There's a whole other part of the equation here that people are missing because they don't understand. Remember what we talked about tonight? Principles. This is the way the body, I didn't make this up. This is the way if you study the body, this is the way the body works. If you want it to be healthy, you have to follow that. You want to learn math? You got to learn principles. You got to learn, you may not like it, it may be difficult, you may have to have a calculator, but you gotta learn it, right? I mean, not just because you can't do it doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means you, have, you haven't learned the principle. It's the same thing with the body. And that's why it's so critical for us. We don't have time to discuss this during adjustments. We have to really start giving you the proper values and principles that'll help you so when you leave here, you can use those values to filter out data that's coming at you because we can't be holding your hand all day long, right? It's the same thing with the kids. Eventually, they're gonna go off to college. How you taught them when they were younger is gonna be of what value they're gonna get and how they got involved in the whole situation. It's all about growth. You know, the whole thing about life is about growth. So here's the thing. This is what we call the home run formula in our, in our um, it's what the holistic approach is. No matter what issues you have, there's always gonna be a structural, or neurological component. There's always to be biochemical, nutritional, or deficiencies. We're ex um, exposed to a lot of electromagnetic frequencies right now. Um, if you haven't looked into this yet, there's a thing coming out. I think it's called Generation, Generation Zap. You should probably look that up on, online, you guys do. And there's a trailer coming up on that. And basically what's happening with all the EMFs and the Wi-Fis in schools kids are getting like bombarded with that stuff and they're beginning to get learning difficulties because these frequencies that are small frequencies, now with the 5G coming up, it actually like zaps into the system. And they, I think in France, I think they shut down all the, the Wi-Fi and they just had cables. Learning went up. 
because then it wasn't interfering with the poor little brains of these kids that are like eating crap to begin with, you know, and they already have issues with family issues going on. They're not getting enough sleep, they're not eating the proper foods, right? And then they're over there early in the morning and they haven't run around because they're sitting all, it's such a tough thing to ask kids to, to be in, right? It's right. really difficult and it's not ideal, you know? Uh, but yeah, the EMFs are a big thing. So we will talk about that more in detail. And everything's poison. There's a lot of heavy metals in the, in the environment, um, chemicals, hormones, meds in the water, allergies and infections, and also emotional stress. So all these things, if you want to be healthy, here's the principle, you have to look at each of these boxes and what? You want to minimize the stress in all of these boxes. Today, we're going to talk more about the structural component. So here's our secret weapon here. Um, this is the Urconia uh, laser, but we also have a new laser. It's the Avant. It's smaller and um, just as effective. So what does it do? Let's talk about the mechanism behind it. It emits a visible coherent light and it stimulates the body's ability to produce ATP, right? And that is the energy uh, of the body. So if you look here, you can see that. And that's basically 635 nanometer frequency and that's the frequency of healing in the body. There's a range in there, and that's about the range that the, the laser works. What does it do? It allows natural healing to occur faster in a decreased amount of time. And also, it helps decrease pain and inflammation. A lot of people use the laser for pain and inflammation. We don't. If you've already noticed, we try to do what? The way Dr. Spencer taught me is to balance the nervous system. If you balance the nervous system and the body's healthy, then you have less stress on it. It can uh, dissipate gravitational forces and then the pain becomes unnecessary. The pain is there to tell you there's something wrong. If you get rid of the reason why there's something wrong, then the pain becomes, our goal is not to get rid of that, right? That would like if you have a kid acting up in school, you don't just like slap him around and put some duct tape on him and stick him in a dunce corner like we, they did when we were growing up, <laughs> right? So what do you do? You find out what's wrong. Ask the family, are you eating properly? Is there any cognitive issues going on? Have them neurologically evaluated. You should be getting checked by a chiropractor, every single one of those kids. Because if they have subluxation, are you kidding me? There's no way the body can adapt to the environment, right? So, but yeah, this, that, what happens is you decrease the pain and inflammation. Also, you increase the natural range of motion in the joints when you begin to relax the myotomes that are contracted. And it also allows the cells um, to have optimal function on a more permanent basis because it gets rid of the lymphatic uh, clogging in, in the system. It increases also tissue uptake of oxygen, uh, white blood cell function, and also the axons, which are part of the nerve, begin to regenerate over time. And the, that regulates the cells in the area. It re basically restores communication, stimulates lymphatic flow, and we already talked about the micro mitochondrial ATP as well. It also helps anti it has an anti-inflammatory effect as well and uh, it also in, helps with the cortisol levels and also allows you to basically heal faster in comparison to if you didn't have the laser. So this is a, um, an article here um, called Healed by the Light. So listen to this, right? So, so one of my first eye-opening experience with the Lova, Lova laser in, in wound recovery was in a burn, as a burn patient. As a plastic surgeon and medical director of a burn and wound center, I see large numbers of acute and chronic burn injuries as well as wounds of various ideologies. One particular gentleman had a home, listen to this, I had a home fire that melted his carpet and he was forced to walk across it in bare feet and melted car. Can you wow. imagine that? And to get out of his home, he presented with very deep foot burns and severe pain. He was on chronic narcotics due to an old back injury because he didn't see it ahead of time, right? right. So, so I knew his pain would be difficult to manage because you're already on meds. Your body get, gets used to that. At presentation, his pain was exceptionally severe and the bottoms of the feet were purple, swollen, and sloughing skin. Within two minutes of the laser, right, his pain decreased by self-reported 75% and his skin went from blue and purple and pink right before our eyes. As you can imagine, our jaws dropped. This particular laser therapy has been part of my practice ever since. This is a guy, and again, you know, why isn't this used more often? Let's not talk about that. Okay. <laughs> I don't have the answer for it either, but. This is actually the actual pictures, right? 
11 days later, along with grafting, laser, laser, and then 28 days later, with a, with a decrease of pain over. Um, and we've had really good results in our practice with warts, um, shingles, burns, really burns. I had this one lady come in, and she burned her thigh. She was uh, cooking spaghetti. It was a big pot, and then she tripped, and so the whole thing and she was like, and she we were just talking about the laser at the seminar, and she came in that same day, right? And it was like all swollen and red and so on. So we lasered it. She got home that evening, and the thing was almost almost gone. So she told her mother this, like she's in her 50s. Her mother is traditional. She got so mad at her. It's like, why didn't you go to the chiropractor? Why didn't you go to the hospital? They're not real doctors. And it's like, no, no, mom. This guy's holistic, and he lasered me, and, he did, and it's better. It's like, so the mom got so mad at her, she didn't talk to her for a week. <laughs> it's like you shouldn't be going to the <laughs> Be happy she was healing. Exactly. No, it's about. Can you see? Understand that? Listen. Belief systems are so powerful, right? That it actually, even if it's illogical, you'll still do it because you believe it. Right. Right. When's the last time you were at the hotel? Uh, what when I stayed at the hotel? Yeah. A few months ago. Probably. Okay. Right. Was there a thirteen floor? No 13th floor is in hotel. Do you think you would stay on the 13th floor if it was on there? Probably wouldn't matter, but, but there are. But actually, if the 14th floor is really what? 13th floor. Yeah. But that's how powerful they, these, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's these superstitions. It's a different number on there, but it's, <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's exactly. it doesn't change the fact that it's, it's the 13th it, floor. Right. So our belief systems actually can you know, either ruin or help us. Right. And that's because, again, if you didn't believe something, so here's the thing that they did. They did studies on this. They took mice, right? Poor little lab rats. Two of them. Control group. So they burned both of them equally with, you know, branding irons and so on. So it would be just, um, consistent. The control group, they did nothing. And they observed how long did it take to heal. The laser group, they lasered, watch this, only the one side. So what would you expect? That if the theory was correct, the lasered group would heal faster, correct? Right. But also that the lasered arm would heal faster than this, correct? Correct. This should be equal to the control. Well, here's what they found. They were right. The mouse that had lasered the arm here, the, the uh, whatever, the extremity, he's 66% faster than the control. But here's another thing they found. This healed just as fast as the other one that was not lasered. Guess what they found out? It has a systemic effect. It's all connected. It's all okay. exactly right. But the thing is, if you're shooting photons into the system, it goes throughout your whole body. Pretty, pretty amazing right. stuff. That's the good thing when you do things naturally. When you find out side effects, it's good, right? Right. Yeah. As opposed to pushing the body where you want it to. Here's some examples. When I still had here. Quiet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> so. That's the upregulation. You could do, and you've felt this right. lower extremity and the cervical spine. And again, that's what separates, you know, anybody can adjust you, but if you can make sure the nervous system, the software is connected, then the adjustments will hold longer, right? That's really the, the value. So, um, so let's, are you okay demonstrating? Let's take a look at this. Sure. So let's see, I just adjusted you, maybe nothing will be a problem, but you can stand right here. And then let's check the, Face right there. Face. Uh, that, that, that way. Come, come this way. There, there, there. there you go. Yeah. So hold this arm, right? And make a fist here. I'm going to push down and hold strong. Good. Bend your head forward. All the way down. Hold it. Hey, we found something. How did that happen? You know why? You had coffee. <laughs> <laughs> head forward again. And hold strong. See how that goes weak? Go uh -huh. look up again. Straight ahead. And hold. And that's really strong. So bend your head forward again. So that usually is that there's something wrong here. Turn around. And you're back to the camera again. And we're going to laser that. And all you need to do is do it for two seconds. Good. Turn back around. Hold again. And resist. And there it is. And you've felt that before. Go down. Head go down again. And again. Good. Head back all the way and tilt, and the other side, and turn, and turn, and that's 
week two. Turn again, turn away. Back to the middle. Do that same motion, rotate, and there you go. So that's a demonstration. And again, what that does, it, it doesn't, it's not a therapy. You're, when you shoot 635 nanometer frequency into the nervous system, it restores the communication between the brain and that myotone. But you have to stimulate it first, right. and then the body actually allows it, and that's how you hold those adjustments. Cool, thank you. Thank you. And then, The kinesio taping is another thing that we use uh, with regard to holding those adjustments. So, um, fascial movement taping. Mm, let's see. Come back up, Mark. Can't do it. Stand up here. All right. So let's try this. Mm, go like this, right? You face that way. Come a little bit closer, right there. Actually, go across the body like that. The nice hands. hands. Yeah. And hold strong. And hold. Aha. And this hold. So you can't hold that. Hold here. Good thing something's showing up so we can do a demo. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> and then here. And that's where it is. So watch. So unbutton that just a little bit, right? So I can access back here. Okay, so turn around. What we're going to do, we're going to actually use some kinesia tape right there. By putting the tape on there, you're going to stimulate the mechanoreceptors in the body. I'm going to pull this here. I'm going to reach underneath, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Put your head down. So you're stretching the tape. Turn around again, and then hands there, pull strong, and hold, and there it is. So that's another way to influence it. Can you see what I mean? You yeah, can I do can, adjustment. I can feel, feel what that. it's doing back there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right, come sit down again. So thank you for uh, allowing us to demonstrate. It's a good thing that there's some real-time stuff going yeah. on there. We'll take that off before you leave, so we'll leave that on. Um, so yeah, that's fascial movement taping. Again, the whole purpose, you know, a lot of people use taping for like pain and everything so pain-oriented. How do we get rid of pain? And, you know, if you're in pain, you want to be out of pain. But isn't it better to get your body healthy and functioning properly so this way the pain becomes unnecessary? Because think about that. Pain is really a, a sign that there's something wrong. If you don't identify it, then you just keep chasing your tail, right? And there's so many things you could do. For, yeah, just take opiates. I mean, you know, I mean, that's why there's such a... Uh, a big problem with that because people just wants to get rid of the symptom as opposed to getting to the core because again guess what who teaches them who's teaching them these principles nobody they just want you to buy the product again again you need the products temporarily but it's not there to cover up symptoms forever you need to get to the core issues uh, we also use fascial movement taping with regard to performance this is a kid that you know we um, help he was getting ready to do CrossFit this is when he was skinny he's like almost double that size now. So, um, and we use the tape uh, to improve performance. There's other applications of the low level laser. I mean, you know, you could abrasions, acne, ADD, addictions, adrenals, amnesia, anger. I mean, there's so many different things you could use it for. And the thing is, you can actually change the frequencies of this that are pre-programmed. For example, if you look at this one, this is one that's on brain. You can go to candida chronic pain see that oh yeah and that's changing the frequency it's correct see, specialized watch. for that right for example watch inflammation frequency right hold on now watch how that so now watch I'll then change it to emotional stress see how much faster that yes. is let's go to disc herniation that's also the same copper can you see the different pulses? Yes, there are actually four uh, um, diodes in here that 
it emits the frequency and then it changes the pulsing and how frequent the frequency of the light will allow that body to heal differently. Can you see the list? So many different things that you can help it with. Wow. And again, you're not trying to get rid of that symptom and that the laser will not always help with that situation. The thing again, like warts and wounds are huge. My gosh, I mean wounds is really it's like I have a kid here, he, he works at a restaurant area. And this is like the third time he chopped off his finger and thumb. Oh my gosh, it's like, but then we would laser it, and then, you know, one time, I think it was the last time, he, he, he didn't keep the tip of the thumb. So he was just too freaked out and he was bleeding. He went to the ER a couple times, but we kept lasering it, and now, you know, you can't even tell until last week he chopped it off again, the same thumb. So he lasered it again. So he's getting spoiled because you could fix it with right. a laser. So <laughs> I said, stop doing that. Said, That's not the point. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's really got a lot of good. Um, so who can benefit from the functional movement um, um, taping and laser? So guess what, who, right? Young athletes who have chronic pain issues that have not resolved doing the traditional model. Because again, we're looking for different things, different ways for, uh, for the body to heal. Uh, professional or semi-pro athletes who want something on their team that does not offer. Again, for example, you'll have, let's say, people from the Eagles or the Flyers or the Sixers if they have these chronic injuries that don't heal, but they have their own protocols that are standard, right? The question is, are they doing something like this that's outside of the uh, uh, you know, awareness that could help them? And you don't know what you don't know, you know? And athletes, young and old, who want to avoid catastrophic career-ending injuries or our patients here. We believe that you deserve that. You deserve that kind. So, you know this guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Fastest man yeah, in the yeah. world, right? Six Olympic medals, never placed silver or bronze. In other world championships, he collected eight first place wins and two second place wins. So as a young man, he suffered from scoliosis. So when he was younger, it wasn't really a problem, but when he got older, it really became a bad thing for him. So, and he kept getting injured every year because he had a crooked spine. So what happened then, instead of using a brace, he used chiropractic care. He has his own chiropractor that he uses, and um, basically he's able, he says, as long as I'm, um, I'm in great shape, nobody beats me for sure, and that's how we, and you, like, T.O., the same thing. Um, you know who else has his own chiropractor? Bon Jovi. I found this out, I was at a seminar, and his chiropractor was just like, yeah, it's just Bon Jovi. It's like, the percussor we have there, the laser we have here, the, in the, the instrument we have here, he has that in a crate and an adjusting table when he goes to perform, it goes it's already, it goes with him and he's already getting adjusted right, right before he performs. These guys don't mess around. Lance uh, Armstrong, um, who else, uh, Bono, those guys, and Dr. Spencer, those were all his clients. He would just like call them up and say, are you in town? If not, come on, fly in. You right. know? So, but yeah, so it's really, really beneficial. I worked with these guys, the Wizards, Harlem Wizards, a couple of years ago, and donated my time. That's when I was taller. No, no, just that. <laughs> um, so another thing too, besides, uh, have you read this article? No, I'm just kidding. So, so, so. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so, not only does it help with performance, you'll you'll find this interesting as a uh, um, uh, for immune system. So Dr. Perot, right, the chief of Cancer Preventive Institute, New York Preventive Institute. Medicine Institute and Professor of Medicine in Environmental, in Environmental Health University. So here's what he did. He took 107 individuals who had received long-term chiropractic care, five years, right? Not for symptoms, but to check for subluxations. He then took a, a control group that had no chiropractic care, but they didn't have any diseases. The other group was the cancer group, people that had clinical case of diagnosed cancer, but with no chiropractic care. He measured 22 different parameters of uh, immune function with all these people, right? 107 of them. 22 different parameters. Let's discuss two of them. One is the amount of glutathione transferase S in your body, which is a, uh, the capacity for you to detox. So if you have high levels of that, you can detox faster. That's one measure. The other measure is unscheduled DNA synthesis, meaning that if your DNA begins to break down, if your immune system is strong, that you will begin to repair the DNA so you don't produce you know, wrong um, cells down the road. There's 20 other things, we don't need to discuss them, but that's what he measured, this is what he found. The chiropractic patients that were getting adjusted had how many? 
two hundred percent than the people who did not receive chiropractic care. And watch this, and four hundred percent greater immune competence in the people with cancer and other diseases. They repeated these studies again and again. You know, surrogate indication of DNA repair serum. There's so many different tests that they've been doing. You know, you know, we don't have a lot of money like the drug companies to do all these studies again and again, but when we do them, it's consistent, right? Watch this one. Um, Discovery Magazine, right? Read that. You'll have to rewrite the textbooks. <laughs> Can you imagine? The teacher's like, what? I've been teaching for <laughs> for 30 years. Let's get it going. <laughs> Let's get it. I mean, watch this. This is amazing. Well, this was not too long ago. This was like, oh, three, uh, actually, it's almost three years ago. Yeah. God, it's so fast, I just put this up there. Right, now watch. It's a stunning discovery that overturns decades of textbook teaching. Researchers at the School of Medicine have determined, listen to this, that the brain is directly connected to the immune system by vessels previously thought not to exist. How often do you see that, right? Watch. It really, I really did not believe that there were structures in the body that we're not aware of. I thought the body was mapped. Can you imagine this guy's, uh, um, um, watch this. Hey, what do you do? Hey, I'm Jonathan Kipnis. I'm a professor of the Department of Neuroscience and director of the University of Brain of Brain Immunology in Glia. <laughs> this is what this guy does, right? So watch. How these vessels could have escaped detection was that when the lymphatic system had been so thoroughly mapped out in the body is surprising on its own. What are they finding out? Everything's connected. And that's why when we have kids here, I just had a kid that came here today, ever since she was one month old, she was sick all the time, all the time. She was the sick kid in school, right? And we just started adjusting her, and now she's now 13 years old. She just made the basketball team, and she I just started, she was all sore now because she's running track now, right? The only thing she has left over is a little wheezing. She just have ear infections and headaches, and she was the sick kid in school that would right. never get better. Why did she have to suffer since she was one month old? Why do we have to just get a hold of her since last July, right? And now she's off all of her meds, and it's just amazing, right? Why? Stuff that we don't even know about, because the body, get, it's a matter of communication. Thank God it's simple, right? Because all we have to do, we don't have to get complicated, do functional MRIs and all these different studies, but it proves to you that the body is self-healing. And that's the principle that you want to empower yourself with, because when you start understanding the body and how powerful it is, you begin to trust it, you begin to use it properly, then you have a thriving life, as opposed to when am I going to get cancer? When am I going to get sick? When I, you're always worried, right? One of my patients uh, who's going to do a seminar on manifestation, he said that's like a negative prayer. It's what you're doing. When you start worrying and not wanting for what you don't want, you keep focusing on it, you get more of it, right? So it's interesting. So guess what? That's the end of our seminar, but guess what? It's a heavy burden to me, you know why? And you probably feel the same way with where you're at in terms of where you work. So you see things that could be better. It's a heavy burden because you can't do it on your own. So I'm passing that burden on to all of you guys online and you yourself. Guess what? It is your job as a, an educator to educate people of how, with the truth about health. Health does not come from outside, it comes from within. It's from above, down, inside out. And if you want to be truly healthy, give the kids an opportunity to be healthy, they need to know that subluxations ruin your life, right? And so there are many people here that, you know, don't know that and it's our job to be sure that we pass that responsibility on to them and just you know just think of people that you know that are challenged right now and they've been going to different doctors and so on so you need to really give them the uh, opportunity um, to, to be able to follow and understand these principles and for you for being here we'll give you um, some presents we'll give you a gift before you can leave Great, thank you. For being here. So to close again, our mission statement is to provide the best technology in holistic and life care. And our catalyzing statement is to inspire people to live thriving lives so they can be a beacon of hope for others. <laughs> so those of you online, thank you for um, liking our page, Mariano Holistic Life Center. We're also on Facebook and YouTube and on Instagram. And our website is drmariano.com. We have a lot of videos on there that you can listen to to educate yourself further with different topics as well. And if you have any questions, type them in under there, and then we can answer those under the comments section, and we'll answer those for you at another time. So if you found value in this video, uh, please like us and give us some comments on there. Also, if you have friends that you would like to know about this, please share them, tag them on this. Our goal, again, we want nothing from you, but we want everything for you. Nobody's teaching you these principles. They want you to be just you know dependent upon everything. We want you to get better and healthier and have good lives and good relationships as well. 
And if you yourself are having challenges, please give us a call and do a consult with us or come to these seminars. You're welcome to come to these seminars so that you can be educated. You know, we're not here to that get you as a patient. We're here to be sure you're educated so that you can help others around you as well be educated as well. To close then, I'm going to close with David Thoreau. He said, I went to the woods because I wished to live de de deliberately. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow out of life, to put to rout all that was not life, and not when I came to die discovered that I had not lived. You know, when my brother turned 13, I asked him, hey, what does it feel like to be a teenager? Guess what he said? Just three more years. <laughs> what happens at 16? That's uh, it's all about driving. That's what he thought. Hey, when I start driving, my life's going to be better, right? Yeah. Didn't happen. You know, my mom got him a car. It was the Honda CRX. It was like brand new. He had McDonald's stuff in the back of that thing, piled high. He never washed it. And he never like changed the oil for like more than every three years. <laughs> he just beat that thing up, right? Just he didn't earn it. Oh, I know what it is. When I finally get a real job, I'm tired of working at McDonald's and eating all their food. When I finally get a real job, that's when life will begin for me. That's when I'll become happy. When I'm happy, then that's when life will begin, right? Right. Little did he know. Oh, I know what it is. It's not the job. It's not the car. When I get that college degree, when I finally get that college degree, I can get a real job and make real money, right? That's when life will begin for me. Nope, that's not it. I'm still not happy. Oh, that's it. I need a woman in my life. That special someone, correct? My soulmate. When I finally meet that soulmate, when I finally have that job, when I finally have that career, when I finally have that car, then I'll be happy. I contend that the most important thing is happening right here and right now. And people die at, later in their life, never been alive that entire time they were here because they're always waiting for that important thing to happen to them. What matters is now. As they said, the past is history. The future is a dream. The now is a present. It's a gift. That's why it's a present. It's in the present. The only thing you could do is be in the present. So I leave you with that. My hope is that you gain value from this. And thank you for being here this evening. Okay. And I hope you sign up. Our next seminar, actually, is uh, where was it? I, I left it out. <laughs> Our next seminar is this, the secret of body mind medicine and how you can be healthy, and that's next week. And then the week after that, we actually have people, we have um, guest speakers in here as well that you'll really enjoy. I'm looking through the one on manifestation, which is amazing how she can manifest things. She also teaches how to do that as well. So have a good night, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank and you. we'll see you on your next video. Take care.